begins tonight in Pearland, where a man accused of shoplifting from a target is in the hospital after being shot by a deputy. That shooting happening outside of a busy strip center, and that's where we find ABC 13's Brooke Taylor with more on the tense moments leading up to that shooting. Brooke? Tom, definitely a busy parking lot. That shooting happening right behind me. You could see it's packed right now. It was even busier earlier. You have a lot of families here doing back to school shopping for the kids. I spoke to one man who was actually at this DSW over here with his daughter going to pre-K, picking out shoes when he heard gunshots. He keeps trying to move his car towards me. Shots fired. I impacted the driver window. I fired off one round. Unknown if it hit the driver. So it all started around 11 this morning when Brazoria County Sheriff's Office says they got a call about a shoplifter at Target. A deputy tried to make contact with that suspect who was in a Dodge Challenger. A car bumper left in the middle of the crime scene where deputies say he became erratic, hitting two parked cars. And then they say he tried driving toward the officer. That's when the sheriff's office says a deputy shot the suspect who did manage to drive off. The suspect later picked up by phone and taken to the hospital. We did speak to the driver of one of the cars the suspect hit here in the parking lot. He was inside that store, as I mentioned, with his three-year-old daughter shopping when it happens. When I heard the gunshot, I just wanted to make sure. I just threw her behind me. <laughs> you know, you never know what's going to happen. You never know where that bullet's coming from. So we just basically hid behind something. But I wanted to go check on the officer because his arm was bleeding. He was bleeding from his forearm. So I was like, are you okay? Like, do you need me to call somebody? He's like, no, I already got people on the way. And deputies say the reason why he was bleeding, he had some minor injuries because he tried to break into the suspect's car uh, before he drove off. A lot of families, though, coming up to us, asking us what happened when this crime scene uh, was set up behind us. And many of them have the same thing to say, which is luckily no one was hurt because, again, you have a busy area here with a lot of people and a lot of kids doing some shopping. We're live in Pearland. I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.